Hey everyone, this is Steph Smith here, and there has been a little bit of confusion from some of my Valsalva Maneuver students on how to actually complete successfully the Raspberry Tongue Hum. So I just wanted to do a video today. For those of you that are not in the know of what a Raspberry Tongue Hum is, this is a super effective tool, practice tool that actually helps you figure out how to relax the back of your tongue and get your airflow really steady without actually putting your face to the instrument. And so it, you can use it a lot in your practice session and it not tire you out at all. And it's like super, super, super effective. So what you're gonna do is you are going to stick your tongue out uh, like this, like you're getting, you're at the doctor and your tongue is getting depressed so they can check in the back of your tonsils. Uh, and then you are going to close your jaw so that your upper lip meets your tongue, okay? And then you are going to blow air from underneath your tongue. So it's gonna look like this. And do you see how my tongue is vibrating with my lower lip? That means that my lip is super relaxed and that my tongue is super relaxed, especially in the back. All the muscles in my face are super loose. Okay, and so if you are unable to achieve that, you are most likely, um, a lot of people tend to do an upper uh, hum, so it kind of is like where their top lip is vibrating and that is just simply that because you're angling your tongue upwards and we want to angle it down like that or if you cannot achieve it the back of your tongue is super tense and that's the opposite of what we want in our playing in general so we want a super relaxed tongue and we want a super relaxed face and then the next step is to add in a hum. That's what I call the raspberry tongue hum. So the raspberry itself works on relaxing the back of the tongue and your jaw and like your whole face in general. And the humming part is going to actually relax your throat and your glottis, your larynx and pharynx. So this is what that's going to sound like. <laughs> You're just simply gonna hum while you're doing this raspberry tongue hum. And so this is a super effective tool for your practicing because it's gonna tell you when you're not using enough air, it's gonna tell you when your tongue is too tense in the back. It could either be too high in the back in that sort of a tense way or pulling backwards and receding. And you can use it for literally anything that you want to practice. So say you want to practice strike five. See, I ran out of air. And if I was actually super efficient with the amount of air that I was going to use for that passage, I wouldn't have run out of air. And so that's another way that you can actually practice without practicing on your face. So if I were to do it again, I would use less air with a steady stream to do that passage and it would be super effective on the instrument. All right, I hope this helps, and I hope this helps my students that are having a hard time with this exercise. Um, and for anyone that doesn't know about the Valsalve Maneuver and how that affects your playing and your articulation, please visit my website. It's www.beatvm.com to find out more information about that. And hit a like and subscribe if you want to hear more content like this. Bye, have a good one.